First, Miss Lindsay. I was on a Nickelodeon show for two years. It's my specialty to take really cheesy dialogue and try and make it sound believable. If they want something real, I can give it to them. Action. Do you know what it's like? They should have let me die. I hate him for what he's done to me. What has he done to you? Something even more terrible than you. Is there a place for me on the outside? With this? But together, we could have revenge. We are strong, more powerful than any of them. I tried to make it as genuine as possible, but still over the top. Because the dialogue is so bad, it becomes hilarious on its own. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Action. I hate them for what they've done to me. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, where's the line? And I'm waiting. And I'm waiting, and I'm, I'm keeping character. I'm looking, because I want to look at him like, um, what the hell's going on? And then he says the line. No normal mind could imagine. He was just horrible. Um, uh, am I supposed to say something now? Acting is acting. As long as I didn't break character, I was fine. Okay, cut. You know what it's like. I kept it simple. I kept the seriousness of the character. I hate him for what he's done to me. I think I did pretty damn good. Okay. But I just don't think that Shawnee appreciated it. I'm just ahead, and you're whatever you are. I have a different kind of funny. I'm more of your dry, satirical humor. They should have just let me die. Where is the performance? Eh, decent, but I don't think she stood out with that character. Michelle! <laughs> A lot of the girls, I think, thought it was supposed to be really over the top and <gasps> turn it into like a kitschy skit type of thing. They should have let me die. Oh, comedy's my forte. I was like, all right, this is perfect. I hate him for what he's done to me. Her acting is a joke. It was the worst campiness I'd ever seen. <laughs> oh, God. I knew someone there. Shawnee did say to make it our own. So I decided I was going to do a musical. But together we're strong. Lena's like, oh, completely not based in any kind of reality. Like, what the <laughs> Jessica. I definitely think most of the other girls went over the top, but Jessica's just out there. They always say keep it simple. But for this, I knew that I was going to go all out. Action. Where in her right mind did she make that choice to go that way? Oh no, my deformed friend. She played it like a handicapped deaf person. It was so wrong. No idea what's gonna happen. <laughs> I wanted to take it to a place where no one else would take it. <laughs> the point of this challenge was to take bad dialogue, cheapo props, atrocious co-stars, <laughs> and elevate it. You gotta remember, the people who wrote the movie, directed the movie, they think it's Shakespeare. Most of you didn't respect the material, so you lost the reality of the scene. When you go over the top, you miss the comedy completely. Based on all of that, one person wins this challenge and wins a guaranteed callback. You cannot be kicked off. <laughs>